good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to day 41 soul 78 on occupy mars where we're setting up a mining outpost and at the moment we've just sorted out all our power we're trying to sort out some food so for that we need fertilizer and um, best way of doing that um is we need to unlock um we need to unlock uh, automatic fertilizer generation, but we're also going to allow capsules as well, so survival capsules. So we've got a bathroom here, we're gonna add this on um, to here. We're gonna add a living room onto here as well. Um, so we can effectively just make a little bit of a home here. Uh, let's just get these ones built. Oh, I don't have required materials. Why am I out of aluminium plates? It would appear I am. Give me one second. Hey, yeah, yeah. Lots of materials needed to colonize Mars, as you would expect. Uh, where are we? Aluminium plate. Right there. Let's just go with 70 of them, shall we? Okay, we should be able to get that done pretty quick here. There we go. Okay. Let's get this built so we can sort out our fertilizer and then we can look at planting some um, trees. So effectively, oh, our plants are withering. Why are plants withering? Come on, why are plants withering? Because we do not have enough power. Why do we not have enough power? We've got nearly full battery there. So why have we not got enough power? Okay. I think that might do it. There we go. We needed to adjust our power. Uh, we also want to build up actually our botany desk as well. Um, where are we? Mm, no, under food. No, here we go, main hub this botany yeah because we want to um, unlock automatic fertilization I think so let's go in and do that but we do not have enough power we need 111 I thought we sorted out our blowing power clearly at night we're still not drawing enough power which is concerning um, so we have to sort that out it's certainly generating power right now. Hmm. Okay. We're inputting 130. Let me see. Actually, I'm outputting. I need to output more. I'm going to output 180. That will probably do it then at that point because we still want our water to generate, so we still need 15 kilowatts for that. There we go. Okay, so that should be enough. And yes, it will run the battery down, but I'm not too fussed about that because we're still topping it up as well. So that should be enough there. There we go. Okay, let's uh, have a look at what we can do here. Um, right, so we want to do automatic fertilizer extraction, I think, because that will extract fertilizer from any plants that we're building automatically. So it's passive fertilizer generation. Excellent. So we've got that done there. Right, I could turn that botany bench off as well now um, I like the addition of the fuse box 
um, because it allows us to turn off what we don't need um, so this one is battery rack mechanics workshop printer botany so we can turn off what we actually don't need um, and then we can just turn it on when we do need it so we're reducing the power draw which is I, I quite like that so we've got our um, why am I not able ah I am when yeah okay oh it's got a first aid kit in there what's we got here torch little rocket okay all right cool so in order to generate fertilizer we're gonna go to the loo <laughs> as you do so we're gonna use that and we're just gonna jump up from that and then we're going to flush and we should have an organic waste tank here which we can take now you can only use that once a day um, and it should give you five which you can then recycle fertilizer so you can see we're still we're already generating fertilizer wow that's really good actually that's really good so here's our waste tank so we can reduce five there so I'm well massively impressed with that fertilizer actually that's brilliant okay so what have we got over here so we still we got 50 in here as well perfect all right so we've got soil here so we need to make sure that we are if we want to plant a four trees then we need four lots of nine so we need 36 on that we're going to need water as well I don't know what water we're going to need but for now we can plant trees so we're going to put one there one there one there and one there okay so that brings all of that so we're going to need that that and that and that one okay so that should allow our plants to basically grow um so we will see what's growing we can already see certain trees growing look at that i love that okay right so now we've got that done that's awesome um power generation is working so let's have a look at what we planted up because we're going to need some food very soon so these are at 30 percent okay that's fine okay good all right low suit power why hang on we've got no batteries um hang on a second oh no we don't why um okay that's interesting i switched that out um transfer that over there and that one over there we'll take that one there and we'll take that one there i might want to do a couple more batteries actually as well so we're going to do that and we're going to do that perfect okay right what do I want to do um, batteries 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 um, let's have a look what we've got in here what does it take to make a battery silicon aluminium and iron okay so if i go and make one more battery then at that point it will allow us to have three on the go at any one time okay soup battery i don't have any silicon but we do because i've got it there Okay, uh, and that will allow us 
nice to have three batteries charging whilst we're using three as well so that's good okay awesome okay let's go and pop this battery on charge it should already be fully charged but we'll just pop it over there no it's not okay perfect right so let's have a look at our tech tree see what we want to do now so i don't think there's anything in materials we need to do no it's on the mechanics and we're nearly there um we've got two there so we could yeah do you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do um rover and the drill so we're gonna unlock those okay so let's unlock that and then unlock that so now we've got the drill we should be able to go and do we need to print it though oh that's fine we're straight up by the rover so we'll find out Let's see if we need to actually print it. No, we don't. Okay, so does that mean then we've got that straight away? Let's have a look. We've got a full battery here, so let's close that up. Let's go and have a look. Oh, what are we stuck on? entirely sure what we're stuck on here ah I think I know what we're stuck on um, let's just go here I think we're stuck on our power lead I think we actually are stuck on our power lead Let's just pop that there. We were. We were stuck on our power cable. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, right, so let's go to the tab here. Let's have a look inside. Let's change it to drill. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Not entirely sure. And it breaks it down so we can then pick it up I don't know um, okay well this is interesting because it's really you really got to be close like really close in order to do this like super close oh wow it's got a really big boom arm on it actually okay well that saves a lot a lot of hassle of having to get out and do it um, still gonna have to get used to this, I think, because um, it's destroying things I don't want it to destroy at the moment. In 
interesting. Okay. So the boom arm definitely works. You just have to be right up close to it, really. Um, yeah, you have to be quite close to it. So let's go here, switch this out here. Does mean you don't have to leave the cab though, which I kind of like. I don't actually know what I'm picking up right now, rock wise. I could be picking up anything. But I just wanted to try this out. Ah, I won't let me do that. It's done quite a lot there, so I'm going to just tab back out of that and come around this side a little bit. Bring me right onto it. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at this. Grab the drill. It's a much better way of doing it in my opinion. Much better way of doing it. And come back to that. I like that. I do like that. I think they're much larger pieces as well. And grab the drill here. Tab back out. Yeah, I actually think they're much larger pieces.
So this will basically become an entirely self-contained unit when um, when you are wanting to build with it as well as mine, um, which is interesting. I find I find that quite interesting actually because if you're going to build with it, you've got to have the materials on board surely to do it. Um, interesting. We'll find out what that is. Uh, maybe it's a repair job rather than building. That would make more sense, I think. Okay. Now, once we've done this, I'm going to go back in and empty out, I think. So I think we'll be nearly full. So we've got automatic lifting, are we so much better? Okay, we're pretty much there, like and I think that'll do for now. Um so let's go back this way. Okay. So our base is taking shape. I'm kinda liking it at the moment. Um, we've got a lot of materials out this way we can do and, and go and have a look around other bases as well. We do need to really sort out our um, food production because at the moment that's where we're lacking right now. Um, we are only, we've only got a few MREs so we are going to have to sort that one out very soon. But it's in progress at the moment because we've got plants growing so we can get that sorted. Okay, perfect. Let's close that off of there. Yeah, our hunger really is getting to a point where we need to sort those plants out. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. See where we're at with our plants, shall we? So we're at 47.82. We are so very nearly there, and then we can put them into there. Um, and then we can look at getting food. Where's our food machine? We haven't built one yet, have we? This one is what we want food processing unit. Can I put it in there? No. Okay. So, can I put it in that one? No, I can't. Okay, so the food processing unit goes in the workshop, apparently. Okay, so that requires. Let's have a look here. So, that requires potatoes. You can process them into nutrients, and it requires other other materials as well which we'll find as we go out and explore uh, so let's see where are we come on we're so very nearly there 48.96 let's just close that up one second here should we go and have a look at our trees well uh, we've got some some sproutlings look they're only at 6.79 percent Perhaps I should have put them somewhere else. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that one out. So we've got sproutlings there and there. Okay, cool. Perhaps, let me have a look. So if I go into here and I go into that one. No, I don't want the oxygen tree. Well, let's see. Let's just try it. It does. Okay, so it does do that. 
Okay. So then we've got a seed magazine, we need to just drop that, get that out of the way, so that we can then plant some poplar. No, okay, we can't plant poplar in there. Um, can we put it in this one? We can. Okay, so we can put poplar seeds in there. Okay, so we've got those in now. Let's get rid of this seed magazine. And let's get rid of this seed magazine. There we go. All right, so what we've done so far is we've managed to automatic fertilization, which is good. We've got that auto generating. Soil comes from silicon. So let's have a look what we've got here. We've got a nice little generation of fertilizer going on. Some good little soil amounts there as well. So we could find some basically some cabbages and stuff like that I guess and plant those up um, our trees are growing quite nicely there I'd say um, and yeah for now we just need more food so these should be ready yes they are okay where's my tray oh, I don't know where my tray is I'm just going to do it this way now I really should go and get my tray because I can do six at a time in my tray but for now I'll just do this just so I've got something growing thought farming on Mars would be tedious <laughs> but we need food to live so we need to get it done I right, got one more to go in there okay so we've got all those coming in let us do this there we go so that's everything on there for potatoes so I could then do this and do down. Okay. So we need to generate seeds from these um, to try and bring our potato crops so we get a lot of food basically. Because we're down to single digits on MREs, which is not good. That will be the next job. Alrighty, so that's all those in there. We need to make sure we've got enough resources for it. Uh, which we do not at the moment. There we go, we have now. So we've got plenty of resources there for that. So let's pop that into there. Down, close that up and close that one up make sure this has got enough resources as well uh, yep 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 and yep 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 okay now let's sort this hunger situation out shall we and our water situation is fine O2 there hunger we're down to yeah we really are down to single digits so let's just use one of those at the moment Okay. So I think we need to really sort of maybe have an explore in a bit. Um, 
because actually you know what, I'm gonna go and make a dirt bike I think um, because that will be better than taking that huge humongous thing actually do I want the dirt bike or do I want the cyber truck hmm let's see should we take the cyber truck would that be the best way um, it probably would wouldn't it let's have a look truck so we've got enough to do it all we do have enough to do it all I've got enough small pipes so I don't need those um, let's have a look yeah, I don't need small pipes screws wise I need screws don't need small engines all right okay so let's get rid of that don't need those I don't think I need electronics either so that's fine let's get them to build we've got how much we've we got electronics oh we might actually need electronics mightn't we hmm Yeah, I think we actually will need electronics. Okay. Okay, so we don't think we have enough electronics. Let's have a look. Yeah, we will have enough. Okay. enough of those so let's find there okay cool right well let's go and build our truck um, and then we can go off to oh I need a small engine oh no I don't have enough small engines I only have nine I need ten Yeah, where are we? There. Build one of those. Here we go. Perfect. Let's get that built. Now, why do we build a truck? Uh, I need a medium circuit board. Okay. Why are we building a truck rather than an ATV or something along those lines? Well, the reason being is because actually we have less chance of killing ourselves uh, with a truck rather than an ATV or a motocross bike. Yes, it's less resources, but we have more chance of actually destroying ourselves and killing ourselves. Um, where's my... Well, um, okay. Where is uh, I don't have a workbench. Why do I not have a workbench in here? I thought I had one. Okay. I need to repair a circuit. I don't have enough material. Um, we 
have some seeds in there. <coughs> need aluminium and silicon for electronics. Build a circuit board. I don't think I can. can I? No, you can't. Can't build a circuit board. That's annoying. Okay. So circuit boards are things we're always going to have to uh, sort out here. Right. Now let's see if we can get this built, shall we? Uh, right. So I think what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to leave this to the next time. Or I might do it while off camera because it does take a, time, a long while to repair these sometimes. So I'm going to call that an episode here, guys. Thank you very much for joining us again. And thank you again all for the support on the channel. Without you guys, we wouldn't nearly be at 200 subscribers at the time of this video. That's fantastic. So thank you so much, everybody. And look, I hope to see you all in the next one. But everybody have a good day.